So let's discuss the safety equipment required for go-kart racing. As we know, motor racing in general can be dangerous. But with the right safety equipment, you give yourself the best chance of having a safe race out there. Okay, so the first thing in our safety equipment that we must have as a driver is our racing suit. So currently, we're in shorts and t-shirt. We're not allowed to go out in the racetrack with this apparel. Here we have a racing suit. It basically covers all your limbs, up until your hands. So you get these in a fireproof and also a non-fireproof suit. Fireproof is more for motor racing where they use uh, more high performance fuels where it can burn you. Kart racing with a lower octane fuel is less likely to be burning you through your race suit. So with our racing suits, there's different materials and different budget points to suit you. We've got a custom suit here that retails for around say $1,000 and you've got a more budget suit for around $150. They're both eligible to go onto the racetrack and they're gonna do very similar things, but you can customize it to your racing needs. Okay, so the second thing we're gonna look at when it comes to safety in kart racing is we've gotta protect our head. That's probably the most important part of our body. Here we have a pretty beaten up helmet, but it's done the job. So again, different brands have different models and different price points, but the main purpose for a helmet is to protect you in case you do flip out of the cart or if something else was to bounce along the track and hit you in the head. So when people think, do you get hot when wearing a helmet? Yes, you do, but they have different vents to cool it. So when you're driving, the air is going through these vents to cool different parts of your face. When it comes to putting on a helmet, you wanna have a quite snug fit. You don't want the helmet to be moving around too much on your head. So make sure that when you put the helmet on, it's just snug around your cheeks. And when you do up the strap, Again, it's quite tight around your chin and neck area. Now, depending on what conditions you're driving in, it might be dark, it might be under lights racing, it could be in the treacherous conditions in the rain. You can also use a clear visor. Then we've got a tinted visor. So again, it's like wearing sunglasses or wearing no sunglasses. But the main purpose for a visor is to protect any stones or marbles or debris from getting in to your eye port. So it's not a necessity, but it can be an accessory if you've got long hair or you also want to keep your face warm or protected from any potential fuels that might come into your helmet. There's a balaclava that you can wear on top of your head and then popping the helmet on over the top. A balaclava is a requirement for motor racing, but it's not necessarily a requirement for kart racing. Okay, so once our body's protected with our racing suit and our head and our eye line is protected with our visor and our helmet, now we're looking at our racing gloves. Again, these come in different models. Our motor racing glove is a fireproof and a Nomex material. That's protecting you from the fuel and the dangerous elements there. Kart racing glove is a lot lighter and it gives you sufficient grip with different rubber on the hands. So the main thing you're looking for is comfort. If you have a quite a bulky glove, it's harder to get that grip on the steering wheel. A nice lightweight glove is all you need for kart racing. So now we're moving on to our racing boots. These need to be over your ankle for kart and motor racing. You want something that's nice and light. You're gonna be pretty quick on your feet, whether it's accelerating or braking through the turns. Get something that's comfortable because you're gonna be walking around the pit area all day, and all our shoes have a nice flat bottom. Again, to have the most amount of grip when it comes to the pedals. Okay, so the last safety equipment that we're gonna be looking at for our kart racing is simply a rib protector. Now, this doesn't need to be used, it's not a necessity, but this is gonna help with the G-forces and the vibration that you feel in your seat. Especially our smaller kids that might have a lot of lead ballast bolted to the seat and all those nuts and bolts that are in the seat, it digs in around the corners. So we're placing this around you and velcroing it. It does have the arm straps I haven't put on here. This is gonna protect your rib cage. Anyone in motor racing and kart racing knows the ribs are probably the most likely to get injured in karting those nuts and bolts are in the seat, and there's not much meat on this part of your body between your rib cartilage and your skin. So it's really wise to get this in there. These have got a carbon fiber outer and a rubber inner. So the rubber's trying to absorb that tension, and the carbon fiber, as you can see on the side here, that's where the bolts have been digging in through the race suit. So these are the things that you must be wearing when it comes to go-kart racing to give you the most amount of safety. As we know, it's quite abrasive car ready. There's no suspension out there. So every bump, every curb, you can feel that through your body, through the G-forces. I'd really recommend getting a rib protector, especially once you get sore ribs, it's too late. Get whatever suit fits your budget, 
and get comfortable boots and gloves.